when you're out there, can you hear anything that's being said? Right. Here we go, Brady! So why do you shout for people? Come on! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. I don't know. Just can't, in case they might it. hear. It's a lot quieter now. So I think they will hear this, but like whenever we start competing, there's you're not going to get a, a front row. Have you ever heard your name being shouted while, when after three to one go? No. No. But it still matters, I guess. Always. Just shows you care. Just in case. You never know. My hair cord. Yeah. So you you're staying in the same place. Yeah. You got your hair cut by the same barber as yes. last year. Now we just got to place the same place we did last year. Are you <laughs> superstitious? Uh, no, not really. But you're just doing everything exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, just doing exactly the same. Just by yeah. total coincidence. Yeah, just to lower the stress where it's possible to lower the stress. What team? that is also vying for podium, do you think you guys could beat in a fight? That we could beat in a fight? Yeah. Like in a fist fight or in a crossfit fight? You can use weaponry if you want. <laughs> if I can use my dragon, I think we would win. Your dragon? Yeah, I have a dragon back home. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like an actual... Yeah, an actual dragon. Yeah, yeah, it's like 30 meters high. Wow, okay. So if I were to bring that one, I don't think they would stand a chance. What's it called? It's just called my dragon. I didn't even yeah. bother to name it. No, no, no. It's just no, okay. called my dragon. Come here, my dragon. So what time are you guys heading to the court? Well, right now, gonna shoot some hoops. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, pickleball. Are you kidding me? Pick these, these are pickleball jerseys, my oh. friend. Are you getting tattoos on one of your podium? What? If we podium, one hundred percent get a tattoo. What would you get? What would you get? Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure something out. We'll get something. What we what we get is not important. But we will get a tattoo. It's quite important. If we party, we get a tattoo. Maybe. I don't we'll have a tattoo, so I'm We're going to force them into the tattoo. Have either of you got tattoos? Mine, I don't have none. I don't yeah, have one. I'm I getting got a few. It would it be removed, my first though. tattoo. It's a good tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get Mine is about to go back to zero. Get it covered by this. Yeah, yeah, so you can get it covered up with this tattoo. Uh, that's the only tattoo you have? <laughs> yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Is that a religious thing? It is. Jesus fish. I'm going to go. When he turned into a fish in the book of... In the book of fish. In the book of Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> and Swanee, what have you got? Hey. What tattoos have you got? Uh, I've just got little bits and pieces. What year is that? That's, uh, I don't know, that was Sun's birthday. That's yeah, birthday. Yeah, birthday. birthday. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't know, really. <laughs> did you just, I, just, I, just, I should know. <laughs> that's, yeah. uh, that's Rocky. That's my son. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky 1970. It's, it's, the next, it's the next Rocky. <laughs> yeah. Make a bet with Angelo's team. Whoever finishes lower has to get a tattoo chosen by the other team. Oh. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. I don't want an American uh, yeah, flag on my forehead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't. I would. I'd get an American flag on me. Oh, your on your forehead. On oh, the forehead. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> Antonia felt Kotulinsky. Can you do it again, but a little oh. more slowly? Okay, I can do it very slowly. You do it again, but use a real name. <laughs> <laughs> Antonia felt Kotulinsky. Was that okay? Antonia felt Kotulinsky. Did it cut the first? <laughs> I think Antonia is fine. Okay. <laughs> That's not where the issue lies. Thank <laughs> you. This is my real voice. <laughs> yeah. Sam Stewart. The lighting is incredibly favorable. <laughs> I need it. Yeah, it's doing a lot for your fans. Isn't it? Yeah, it's doing a lot for your fans. <laughs> Hiya. Shoes. I'm buying new shoes, okay? It's a tight enough one, isn't it? Yeah. That's a uh, medium. Can I see the back of your t-shirt? Back of my t-shirt, yeah. You know, when, you, when a website isn't working, the website? A, yeah, and it says like, page not found 404. Yeah. What and then your team, your team 404. Oh, yeah. You're, you're member 404. Yeah, that's what it usually pops up in my browser when I start browsing late at night. It's just 404 error. Can't be found. Yeah. And then you delete your history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend's over there. <laughs> Did you keep all your stuff from last year? I actually gave everything away. Everything? Yeah. It's close. So it feels good to just give them away to the to the guys at the gym. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. So there's people running around with my name on it, and that's awesome. It's, and like, a, it's like a weird CrossFit Santa. Yeah, and there's a weird fetish I have. See other people running around with my sweaty clothes. <laughs> Want a running workout? Okay, yeah. I can't get her getting too cocky. 
fairness, it was she had a five second lead after round one, she had a 20 second lead after round two. And then after round three. Oh, snap the band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was really fun to watch because she came in on the lead on round one. It was just that she went out early. She came in with a bigger lead on round two. And it's tough in Helen in round three to make up 10 or 15 seconds. Like yeah. as long as she doesn't fall off the pull-up bar, everything was gonna be okay. Yeah. And it's just an she's put so much work on her threshold aerobic conditioning this year um, with running like this was it so this was very very cool and not a bad way to end the day three three one it's okay first overnight shorty yeah yeah that's a and he, it's just a really professional approach to the first day where it's it was strong and controlled in event one, strong and controlled in event two, and then she noticed an opportunity to take a swing and she took a swing. And hit it. And that's how you do it, yeah. What do you like about her? What you do? What's that? What do you like about her? Test number two, Thomas Field. She, the three she has this ability to just not get too high or too low. She stays pretty calm and stays in the moment the whole time. Even for a 16 year old, it's just, it's really, really impressive. Um, she's really coachable and she has an intensity that she brings to Metcons and workouts that you can't really teach to athletes. It's almost to the point where sometimes you have to pull her in a little bit, um, but you don't want her to lose that. So it's, she has a lot of intangibles that you can project down the road that could end up agreeing really well for her in the sport. It's nice as well. <laughs> it's crazy. Like so I go out and I I I spend a week with her training and I spend the better part of like six or seven hours in the gym with her all day and we're just hanging out training and then I get back to the hotel room after I'm there and I think I did not feel like I was hanging out with a sixteen year old girl all day. Like yeah. she's really cool, really fun to hang out with and she's just yeah, she's just She's a really, really good kid, man. <laughs> and her parents are nice. And I think that's where a lot of it comes from. Like, yeah. her parents are so great. The, she stays so much more grounded than you would expect. And I think it probably is something to do just with cultural differences over there being from this small country on a small island. And just, she stays in her lane. She works out in an ice cold gym with nothing fancy all year. It's almost like watching old Rocky motivational videos. <laughs> and then she comes here and she still doesn't like get any recognition. She just shows up, does her job, and at the end of the weekend, she's got a medal around her neck. Henry, have you been here since I left you? Uh, cranking. On the grand. Like an hour ago? No, that was like three hours ago, I'd say. Time works. Uh, yeah, I, I think I made two videos. Since that's good. Now. That's productive at least. Give me something. Like a practice day. No, I were, it, 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 it was supposed to be a yet. practice day, but I, but I went. It. Were you over at the bike and that kind of stuff? I got everything. I got the bike. I did the biking. I saw the, the ladies? documentary okay. crew get Justin Medeiros tell the documentary crew to beat it. I mean, I, I was like 30 feet from Justin Medeiros, and I was like, "There's, there's one person you shouldn't talk to, because he's just." Oh, I stepped to get out of his way. And oh. I stepped into his way because I was like, I was like, dude, oh, no. he is like, intense. <laughs> and the documentary crew goes over there. And I thought he was like, walking through, so I like backed up into a door, and he, he was just walked, like he was just yeah. like. I had a great, I had a great, I hugged it out with Katrin, and David's daughter. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, that was really cool. With words or without? Everything. On words. Camera? No. Okay. Good. Um, well, that's good. Uh, hugged it out with Noah. Hugged it out with Jason Hopper. You and Noah are good though, no? You and Hopper was always just like a... Yes, yeah. Well, Hopper knows what side his bread is buttered on as well, so... <gasps> You're saying what Hopper hugged me was disingenuous? No, I'm saying he... Yeah, that side's what <laughs> <laughs>